Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of our Facebook Learning Series. We are coming to you live from Stuller's beautiful global headquarters in Lafayette, Louisiana. It's my favorite time of week. We are talking holiday selling. This year, just like every year, Stuller is excited to be a part of your holiday prep and your holiday selling. And we have a lot of great things to talk about today. If you're out there watching us, go ahead and put the name of your business as well as you're located in the comments so we can spread some of that holiday cheer. And if you have any questions that come up today during our conversation, go ahead and pop those in there too. Someone from our team will be sure to get you the answer that you are looking for. So today we are talking about something that is near and dear to my heart. That is the world of social media, which might be a little bit intimidating to some people. There's no doubt that in this world we have found ourselves in having an internet presence as well as a presence across various social media platforms is now important, more important than it's ever been before. And, you know, it can be a little bit confusing about how do you translate that into something you can use this holiday season? Where do you get started? The good news is we've got the experts here today. <laughs> I am joined by Victoria, who is a member of our social media team, as well as Ben, who is an expert in all things customer experience and selling. Y'all, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about here. We yeah. do. <laughs> Victoria, I'm going to start with you. Okay. So as we said, there's no doubt that social media is a super important part of any holiday campaign. Do you have any ideas for people? How can they get their own social holiday campaign started? Okay, well, um, holiday campaigns, are um, they kind of look different for everyone. So you can kind of get creative with it, do whatever you think would fit your store best. You could do testimonials. You could reach out to all your past customers. Mm -hmm. If you had a really good relationship with them, ask them to write a testimonial for you. You can reshare those on your social media. And then that's also just wonderful for everyone to see. Um, and then also you could do something like a giveaway. Um, and the giveaway doesn't have to be giving away a product or a certain item, but you could do experiences. So you could do like a private shopping experience or something like that, oh something unique. I love that. I think I love that idea more than getting jewelry. The idea yeah. that you can have a little bit of you know, VIP access mm -hmm. to the jeweler after hours, a little champagne, and it all is possible through having an excellent social media campaign. Right. So how does that social campaign translate into you know, the customer experience when they're in the store? Why don't we talk a little bit about that? That. Yeah, I, I love that idea. I think that's great. You know, for us on the sales side, we hear about all these social media things. We're, we're, we're coaching our accounts to really go in and look at what their social media presence looks like. But a lot of times we don't connect the service, uh, the sales and the social media together. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's really great about what you were saying about having an experience is, you know, you're not really just going in there and spending all this money and spending all this time on all of these different things when it comes to social media presence. You're actually driving customers back into your store to make purchases, which that's what we all want, right? No one wants to spend all this time, mm -hmm. all this effort, and then not have any new customers or not really make any additional sales on top of it. So right. by giving an experience, you're inviting people into your store to be able to really um, make those purchases that at the end of the day, that's what we're all looking for, right? How do we drive sales through our social media presence? Absolutely. And, you know, social media can have big impacts on your business. Is, is that right? That's what I'm hearing. Absolutely. And I think one of the things that a lot of people miss out on when it comes to holidays is truly, I think there are three different sections when it comes to holiday buying. Um, so the first one is usually, you know, I don't know about you guys, but for myself, um, when we first start doing holiday shopping, I'm buying for myself and I'm looking for those deals and those things out there that I can, I can kind of get those extra bucks in my pocket and mm -hmm. get something great. Uh, and then I transition over to buying things for other people. Uh, and then there's those last minute shoppers that are in there just trying to grab things. And I think if you could really build your social around those three different buying groups, you can really connect with each of those different people and really, again, using social to drive people back into your store. Definitely. I'm I'm a chronic self shopper. I'm shopping for myself all the time. And it's Same. kind of a good idea that like, you know, have social that is going to catch that self buyer's attention. And when they're in the store, oh, maybe they also have something for a few other people on their nice list that they're mm -hmm. interested in. Exactly. For sure. So social media also factors into the bigger picture of, you know, greater holiday selling and bigger pictures for holiday cycles. Talk to us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So if we'll throw that graphic up really quickly, I think this is a really great representation of the uh, opportunity that we all have right now in our stores and um, not necessarily retail stores. This could really be anybody that's in the retail business. This is a great opportunity of 
it's the holidays. You're going to have a lot of new customers coming into your store, a lot of new people that are going to become purchasers of yours. So how can you give them that really great interaction to where it's going to drive them to come back for Valentine's Day and then have a great opportunity of, um, you know, a great experience then to drive them in for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. I think having all these really great experiences are only going to help you guys really build that brand loyalty and that, you know, that customer that came to you for holidays, that was a new customer. They're now a lifetime customer of yours because you've had these really great experiences um, through those different touch points through those holidays. Absolutely. You know, you bring up a good point where this is an awesome opportunity through social media to really reach new customers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you say, you get that holiday sale, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and then it's Mother's Day. And then, you know, maybe it's an anniversary or a gift for yourself or a gift for your, your parents on their anniversary. And it all started because you were smart with how you ran your holiday social campaign. Right. I think that's pretty exciting to think about, you know, the, the potential that this has for businesses everywhere. I, I think it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we're really getting down to here is the idea of creating a branded experience through social media. Victoria, why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so you always wanna make sure that your Instagram and your social media presence and your Facebook and your website looks the same as your store. So you want everything to be cohesive and kind of unified in the um, design of it and the branding. And that will help people whenever they're looking on your social media to recognize your store and recognize your branding anywhere they go. And that's really the goal. Um, so by making little, little like shop gift guides for the holidays, you could do that by you know, categorizing these specific gifts, and then you could have those displays in your store, but you could have them branded to where people really go to you and look for to your brand for those kind of shops. Absolutely, and that, you know, relates to the idea of having strong customer loyalty yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, just like you were saying, Victoria, like building those social, um, building your social around who those customers are mm -hmm. in those three buying cycles. Right. So, you know, when you're buying for yourself, you're going to be posting different things on your social mm -hmm. media versus when we start really looking at gifts, your social yeah. is going to change to really focus on what are things that people can buy for gifts. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. All right. So can you think of anybody that is doing this whole, you know, branded experience really well? Yes. So we have a local jewelry company called Diana Ray, who does an amazing job at branding their Instagram and their store together. So I think we have a little camera roll going up, but as you can see, their, their Instagram is really emulating their store, and you can see that everything is representative of their brand throughout their Instagram. They have their logos everywhere, but they do it in a very tasteful way, and they also include a lot of people and um, people maybe in the shop that you recognize their face whenever you go in to kind of humanize the brand as a whole. As Absolutely. Well. I feel like I want to go shopping right now. <laughs> I'm looking at this. The store is beautiful. I'm seeing some pieces on their grid that I, I feel like maybe I should add to my own collection. Yeah. And that's the magic of social media, right? You see something on your phone. Your customers see something on their phone. They bring it in. They go, hey, I, I saw this picture. And there you go. The magic yeah. has been made. Mm -hmm. All right. So holiday selling season is huge success. Your social media presence is fantastic. And now what? How do we turn this social success into success throughout the year? Yeah, I think just taking um, all of the things that we've talked about today, whether it's the holiday eventing that you're doing, whether it's the three sec so selling sl seasons, Ooh, that's Ooh. a tongue twister, right? <laughs> that is. The selling seasons <laughs> of holiday, along with really making sure that your store and your social all look the same because it's all about comfort, right? Everyone wants to be comfortable in their environment mm -hmm. when they're making those kind of purchases, especially with jewelry because it's, it's so emotional mm -hmm. and there's such a great emotional attachment mm -hmm. to it that we want to make sure that it all matches. And if we're putting all those pieces together, I think it's definitely a, a home run. Absolutely. It's definitely a win. Yeah, you know, it's just really an added piece to making sure that that customer experience is as good as it can be. Right. Speaking of customer experience, we have extended customer experience hours this holiday season at Stellar. So beginning next Saturday, that's the Saturday after Thanksgiving already, November 27th, and running all the way through December 18th, we will be available to you on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central. That's in addition to those Monday through Friday hours that you know and love, which is from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central. So definitely reach out. We are excited to make sure that you have everything you need this holiday season. And, you know, if you're looking for maybe some, like, very specialized tips on the holiday season, how to get your store ready, we do have some customer experience reps that are available by calling extension 2528. They are just waiting to answer your questions and help you make sure that this holiday season is a success. 
If you have some ideas that you you think might work for your social media page, but you're really not sure where to get started, our own Victoria has social media consultations that are available. You can just go ahead and shoot her an email at Victoria underscore Stinson, S-T-I-N-S-O-N, at Staller.com to make your booking for your social media consultation. Maybe you have ideas. Maybe you don't have any ideas. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. All <laughs> levels welcome. We're excited to be able to share everything with you. And again, this is not something that's exclusive to the holiday season. Social media consultations yeah. are available year round. So definitely something to think about. All right, y'all. I feel like I have learned so much today. I got to go make changes to my Instagram grid. Right, we we got to go. But I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to be here today, for sharing your expertise. And I hope everybody had an opportunity to learn. Um, we want to, in particular, uh, go ahead and shout out South Miami Jewelers. They are watching us today. We just want to say hey. thank you. Uh, looks like somewhere from West St. Paul, Van Drake Ooh. Jewelers. That's, I grew up in Minneapolis, so I'm excited to see oh, that. Hometown. Okay, a little okay. hometown shout. Shout out uh, Royal Designs in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us. And y'all, we will be here next week. Same time, same place. We are going to be talking about the top 10 holiday styles and what to do with those pesky last minute shoppers. If you've got last minute shoppers, we have answers for you. In the meantime, I want to wish you happy shopping, happy social posting, and happy selling. Bye.